Natural Bridge and Wildlife Ranch. And check out these big guys I have behind me. And Tiffany Secting joins me and is going to tell us all about the American bison. Because yes. that's Ameri technically what they're called. Yes, it's technically buffalo and bison are different things. Everybody always calls them a buffalo, but right. it's actually an American bison. And their herds actually, back in the, the late 1800s, there was only like a thousand of them left. Wow. And the reason the reason that happened to them is that the American settlers were coming in, they would just annihilate them. And the reason they did that is they were trying to kill out the American Indians. Oh, by taking and away? By taking away their, their food, food source. source. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. So their herd had gotten down to a thousand in the late 1800s. Mm -hmm. Right now, uh, wild herds are about 30,000, but they also, up north, raise them like cattle, like we raise cattle, and they'll sell their meat. Like bison meat. Yes, oh. yes. It's very common, bison burgers, you can, you know. Shh, uh, you guys don't hear that. No, nee, you guys nee. don't hear that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> earmuffs, earmuffs, you yeah. guys don't hear that. But, but in ranching, that there's over 300,000 of them. The IUCN, is an international organization that ranks all species and it ranks them depending on their level of endangerment, if they're an endangered species or not. American bison, they categorize them as near threatened and because they're only counting that 30,000 mm -hmm. that are in basically 68 managed conservation herds. Right. They're not even looking at the ones that are that are under fence, that are being in private ownership. Tell us a little bit about these guys. These I mean, guys. They, they look like they would keep uh, extraordinarily warm yes. when, when it does get cold. They here. do. And, and being from more indigenous to up north, they're used to that cold and they have to have that protection so they have the thick woolly hair. Yeah. Well, in the summertime, they look like you just took a clipper and just shaved them naked. But they do that on their own. They, they molt all of that thick winter hair mm -hmm. so they're ready for summer and they just go down to kind of bare naked. The horns stay with them their entire life. Okay. If they break one or they chip one, it will never grow back this, exactly the same. Whereas antlers, if it would be an antlered animal, they'd break an antler. Mm -hmm. Well, the next year they'd grow back their full regular set. Now they're big. Mm -hmm. How big, you know, do they get? Like how much they weigh? Probably about 1,800, 2,000 pounds mm. is probably about average. Okay. And how, I mean, they seem to lumber along here, mm -hmm. but they could probably move if they needed to. Oh yeah, no, when they get to, you know, and they're like cattle, they'll they'll stampede, mm -hmm. you know, out in, when they're in that wide open range. I would guesstimate they probably could probably go about 30, 35, maybe up to 40. They're a herbivore, right? So they eat hay, they eat the grain, they eat the pellets that, that every vehicle gets when they come in. Mm -hmm. How much of that do they go through? Oh, they can go through quite a, a lot. Bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're in a very large right. area. There's certain species that get along more than others. And generally, whenever you see the American bison, you always see the Watusi cattle that are from Africa, from two totally different continents, but they get along. And the, the Texas longhorn. They all hang them. out together. They're all noticing, yeah, there's some longhorns nearby. It's by. like all the all the big beefy guys all want to hang out together. <laughs> they all together. go to the same gym. They all go to the same gym. <laughs> well, for more information on Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.